this is barbecue and bourbon. I'm actually looking forward to, to for tonight's cook. It's gonna be uh, quite interesting and tasty. Tasty, tasty. So we're doing some uh, monkfish with some white and green asparaguses. White asparaguses. Yeah, yeah. My uh, mother-in-law told me that that's what they ate when they was in France. We in America. And I thought, I want green. They got them Asperger. here. So, did we take it to them or did they bring it to here? I think they just picked it early. It's not ripe. Yeah. It costs twice as much as the green stuff that I take. Oh, so geez. they better be good. So we're going to grill up that. We're going to have some 2XO continuous <laughs> release American oak. Good stuff. We've had this before. My old Dex and Deadman. It's going to be tasty. Oh, it is tasty. It is tasty. And we're going to make us a little garlic, Fresno pepper sauce for our fish. We are. Yeah. You are. Yeah. And we're grilling it on the grill right there. We're going to grill it on the grill. It's over there. Yeah. We're going to mix that in with some butter. So it's going to be butter, garlic, and Fresno pepper. <laughs> Pretty excited about that, too, I must say. Are you? I'm just excited to be off work and having a drink. That's always a good thing. With my buddy. That's even better. It is. Well, I think it's that time, Bill. Yeah? Yeah. What time is that, Adam? Time to cook. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. All righty. <laughs> well, so we're going to make us a little Fresno pepper garlic butter sauce for our monk fish. And uh, we're going to zip it up in this little majigger here. So first we're just going to cut us some Fresno peppers. Some nice little Fresnos. We're just going to cut the sides off here a little bit. Get rid of the seeds. You know, we don't want no seeds in there. <coughs> Spill a little garlic in there. like so. Oh man, I love the smell of garlic. As old Greybeard says, keep some vampires away. Which, you know, it's always a good thing. Put that bad boy in there. Mix that stuff up. Give it a little shake. Throw a few pads of butter in there and mix it up again. Good to go. And when you get it all blended, it should look something like that. This here be our monk fish. We gotta trim a little bit of this excess flabby skin that they should have actually trimmed this off at the at the at the at the, at the, the where we got it from. EBO, y'all know what that is. I hope you do. And then our AP, which is the good stuff. We like it a lot. Make sure you, well, try. Don't make sure. Try. Get it everywhere. Tastes better when it is. Some good looking fish, though. Adam did a good job on purchasing this this evening. Woo! I would say that might be a little too much, but eh, never. You always have a little extra in your pan, you know, waste not, want not. Get all your sides covered. go all right fish the big fish is going on and this must have been a monster fish to get that piece off the tail monster monk fish look at that oh that smells good all right i put the other two and the aspergas on 
And on goes the rest of the fish. And that's the green aspergas. That's asparagus for all you people who don't know what he's saying. And then we have some a white asparagus. Aspergas. For all you people who don't know what he's saying. <laughs> coming up the grill. Look at that there, monk. Fiosh. Beautiful. <laughs> I was told it is the poor man's lobster. Mmm, that looks good. That's a good close-up right there. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Well, Rooster. Graybeard. <laughs> it is that most important time. Most important. What time is that, y'all? It's time to eat the food. <laughs> it. I gotta try this white asparagus because yeah, so am I. We cooked it longer than we cooked the green asparagus. The green asparagus cuts right. This white stuff, you might just have to eat it one at a time. I think cooking it longer definitely made a difference. Helped it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I like that. We're gonna put that aside because. I'm gonna tell you, I, I don't think I'm a huge fan of it. I'm not a fan of that. At least not grilled. No, no, I'm not a fan of that. Thinking maybe some white wine, garlic, maybe a little shallot. Saute in the pan. Now, green asparagus, on the other hand, that's some good stuff right there. Monkfish going down. Oh. Monkfish good? Monkfish is good. Man, with that little lemon on there. Yeah, if you ladies don't have lemon, I'd grab a lemon and cut it. You'll learn it. But how does it go with the 2XO? This will, this will do the whole well, you know, fish pairs best with rye. Which the 2XO continuously has a little bit of that rye spice to it. That's not bad with that fish, though. It's not. I think that rye spice adds right in there, especially with. A little bit of pepper and a little Fresno, a little garlic. That I fish is. One that fish is ridiculously good. Yeah, so good. Well, Adam. <clears throat> Gray beard. Rooster. Cock a doodle do. Cock a doodle do. If you run. May you run in the clouds. If you fight, may you fight for your lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us. Cheers.